All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the fig boss. Today we're talking about a very important question that I get a lot, which is when do I take fig cuttings? And I assume most people, when they ask me this question, they're thinking about when do I take cuttings to then propagate them and root them? If you're not familiar, figs root very easily from cutting. Unlike other fruiting plants that are typically grafted uh, or grown by seed, fig trees are grown from cutting almost exclusively. It's very easy to take a cutting and just stick it right in the ground. So every year what I do is I have literally hundreds of fig trees here in the Philadelphia area. I take cuttings every November when my trees go dormant and I sell them to people across the country. Every year the sale takes place. If you're interested, the sale is going to happen once again this year. It'll happen next year. It'll happen the year after that. Check it out figboss.com if you're interested uh, but the sale only lasts because I sell out of cuttings very quickly the sale only lasts from about the middle of November or maybe the end of November beginning of December till January and that's it they're gone um, now other people though unlike myself because I take my cuttings when my trees go dormant other people will take them during the active growing season Now you could definitely do this in fact I have a number of trees Behind me, these are the ones that are planted in the ground. We're waiting for them to go dormant. We're waiting for them to lignify, by the way, before we take the cuttings. But a lot of the potted trees and even a lot of the in-ground trees, believe it or not, they're done fruiting. Not only are they done growing, they're also lignified perfectly. So the trees like this one here as an example, fruited already. It's done growing for the season. And it will literally sit here pretty much in a pot. It's the middle of September and it will sit here for another two months before this tree actually truly goes dormant. So if I really wanted to, I could take cuttings at this exact moment. There's no fruit on the trees. It's done. You know, if I were to prune a fig, like some of these in-ground trees I just showed you guys, they're continuing to grow and they're continuing to fruit. They have a, a lot of them have a second crop of mane on them. And what some growers do after they actually finish fruiting, if your season's long enough, like let's say in California or in the tropics, they'll hack them back, prune them really hard and get them to flush another set of growth, which then sets another crop of figs. So there's really no rules to this. I don't prune them until they go dormant because I like to let them lignify as best as possible. I find that they last typically longer that way. They also look better to the buyer's eyes. <laughs> the buyer is happy when they visually see the cutting, not happy with the results necessarily. Um, so I want to give them the best product and you guys the best product. So I wait and I have got this at this point now down to a science for what I do here in my climate. If I take the cuttings right now, there's really no loss in quality. This is perfectly lignified. It'll root just as well. The only problem is you guys need to have the right environment. You guys need to have an environment that's close to 78 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. If I were to take these cuttings here in the Philadelphia area, very soon the weather's gonna get pretty cold here. And these are not gonna do well if I lived maybe, you know, many miles south of me, then I could take these cuttings now, stick them in the soil, stick them in, um, in pots, and I may actually have a good rooting success before the end of the season because the, the temperatures are going to stay warmer where you guys are at and average closer to that 78 degrees Fahrenheit that we need to successfully see these cuttings actually root. Maybe you have an indoor rooting environment. So I think that's really what it comes down to. You know, um, when you want to take cuttings depends on if you have the environment ready to accurately or to actually root your cuttings at a high rate. If you're going to root them and it's December and you're sticking them outside, uh, they're not going to root. They're not going to do anything. Uh, you have to have an indoor setup ready for these cuttings or you have to wait until the spring that's what i do i take my cuttings in november maybe early december and then i don't i keep them in my fridge believe it or not for four months out of the year until it's about the first of may where i actually start sticking them in pots and i put them on the patio here 
behind me. So I think that's really the answer. You know, um, there's a lot of advantages, I think, and disadvantages to pruning at different times of the year to take these cuttings. But generally the answer is, do you have a setup ready to make this work? Um, so thank you guys here for watching this. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for me. We'll see you for the next video.